Yeah. Ugreen has several of these, but this one here is a model I it's it's I think it's like brand new release or something because I haven't been able to really see it on the website so it's a pretty interesting power pack or power station uh, they call it a power station and it really is it's awesome for backup you know if you need some backup power at the house because electric goes off or you know if you're in an RV or going to be remote someplace this is the sort of thing you like kind of like to have around you know and it can be charged up at the house it can be charged off the car or truck or it can be charged off solar we're gonna get into all that right now, yeah. Yeah, so we've got portable power. This thing is heavy, but it's a lithium phosphate type battery, which is the type they use in uh, solar panels packages where they, you know, store up charge for running like overnight or maybe even off the grid or something. So it's an awesome solid lithium uh, phosphate battery system which i really like but it does make it heavy but that means you you know it seriously should not be uh it should be safe for like you can't really overcharge it kind of thing so i like this type of system and i was really attracted to this one because it, it's 600 watts but it has a turbo mo mode you can put it in and get 1200 watts and <laughs> the re other reason i'm showing it to you of course is it's on sale, you know. Yes, it's got a sale price. So it'll be down below in the description. I will give you the link for it, plus the sale price, coupon, code, whatever, in order to get you another, I think it's $150 off right now. So it's like, wow, so that's a pretty good savings. And that'll knock some, uh, you know, <laughs> knock the price down a little bit. It is portable. It's, uh, they market it as camping and RVing and, you know, wherever that, you know, things like that. But you know yourself, if you have to re work remote somewhere and you need to run a drill or even a small saw or charge up some batteries, charge your phone, charge your laptop, have some extra lighting to plug in that are household type lights, this will do it all. And look at the output on this thing. Look at it, you know. You've actually got full size three of them down here with the ground and then you have two more up here so you have five all together and you have a switch here that will turn them on or turn them off so you don't have to leave the inverter part running on this thing because it will run the power down eventually if you leave everything going but you also have the usbs up the front here the two types uh, at least that we have in the industry <coughs> right now and also you have a power button right here that you can shut the whole thing off and you can turn it back on. Of course, you have this little light here that's kind of cool too. But we're going to get into more of the features. You also have a cigarette lighter plug. So if you have something that runs that charges off a cigarette lighter, you can plug it in here and charge it up. Yeah. And they also include a set of cables to run to a solar package, like you know, two panels. Now that comes with XT60 connections, which are not well. They're used on solar panels. I didn't have them on my package, so uh, I ended up ordering a set of XT60s so that I could plug into this to charge directly from my solar. That's before the you know a controller or an inverter or anything else, just you know run it right off the solar panels and directly into it, and that way this thing would be allowed to charge itself up. The other thing I discovered was that when you're loading this up and you say you have oh a light or a drill or a fan or whatever running off of this, when it's plugged into solar, once again. The solar power sort of takes over and helps to keep whatever it is running and even charging this at the same time if need be. That depends on how much power you're using, of course. I'm only, this thing's going to regulate itself and it's only going to allow in about 150, 200 watts of charge from a solar package. So if you're exceeding that, then you are slowly going to be losing. But if you're running, let's say, 80 watts uh, of a uh, box fan like I've done quite a bit in the past, that means that fan can run all day long in the barn in this case, and at the same time, completely charge this up to where it reaches 99% uh, full. So that's cool. You know, I like, I like these power stations for that. But I really like the idea of having emergency power around. But there's a lot of other applications, and there's even off the wall stuff that if you uh, sell at flea markets or something, or you go to any of these craft shows where there's no electric power around, it's really awesome to have one of these where you can pull it out and you can plug your stuff in if you you know have something that you need put on display or even just for lighting or something like that or even sound also uh you yeah, know if you want to play your electric guitar downtown somewhere and you want to plug in an amp 
you can plug you can plug your guitar amp in, put your hat out on the street corner, and hopefully everybody throws nickels and quarters in there, or dollar bills, whatever, while you're playing old guitar tunes. Okay, yeah. So there's a lot of different applications. RVing, of course, same thing with an RV. It's always nice when you're parked and camping somewhere that you've got this kind of power where you can charge your laptop, you could run a you could charge your cell phone, you could run a modem off of like for internet or something off of this and have full internet, you know, connected off of this. And it's all AC stuff. So it's like, it, it's household stuff that you can be plugging in and running off of this. Let's look at the, uh, I'm gonna give you a list of the features here right now, just so you, you know, you can see for yourself, get some ideas of what's going on here because there is all, there's really a lot of pretty cool features with this particular machine. The Power Room 600 portable power station from Ugreen. It has zero to 80% recharge in only 50 minutes. Benefited from premium power technology. The station can be charged quickly with AC input. Fully charged in 1.5 hours. Using green and endless solar energy, you can recharge the Rome 600 as fast as four hours with using up to 200 watts of solar power. Power high wattage devices, exclusive with the U-Turbo technology, Power Roam 600 solar generator can support high wattage appliances of up to 1500 watts power most of your essential devices with no worry there are 12 ports in all two usb c ports at 100 watts output each two usb a ports five ac ports with wattage up to 600 watts and a car outlet with two also two dc 5521 ports this should meet the needs of almost any home for backup or outdoor camping the battery is said to be 10 year battery life with advanced lithium iron phosphate EV batteries to give Power Roam 600 stations six times more service life compared to other traditional lithium ion batteries. So always be ready for the uncertain events. Application controls are in your hand. Download the Ugreen app, yes, on your phone, and you can get control anywhere, including most practical functions such as quiet mode, energy saving modes, there's even a safety child lock and on and on. Pick up and unlock the features. What you get with Power Room 600 power station is 680 watt hour capacity. Yes, solar power, adopters, accessory bag, and user manual, five year warranty, and friendly customer service. Can't beat it. Yeah, that's a, uh, it's one of those water things with the thunder or whatever, but yeah, it ran, it was cool. Anyways, let's go out to the uh, solar package and take a look at the solar with this thing and just see exactly what's happening. Uh, yes, there's a phone app. I don't know how well you heard that, but yeah, you can get your app from Ugreen on the on your phone and that way you can help with Bluetooth and monitor what's going on with the power station. <laughs> how cool is that? Now, for our first test, I've got a fan running and I'm going to cut the sound of the fan out of the, I'm going to edit the sound down a little bit so you don't have to listen to the fan running, but uh, just how I show you this. So the fan is draw, drawing about 86 watts right now and this, running this, this could run that fan for, shows 5.7 hours. We're at 98 percent charge. Now, this line here is off my solar package and I'm going to have to get closer somehow so I can reach it. This is the X, there we go. Yeah, this is the X60, is now plugged in. And what we're gonna see is we're gonna start seeing wattage come in from the solar. But as this comes in and starts to work with, it's a sunny day out, we, we have about 260 watts available out there. But it depends on voltage and whatever to calculate to where this is gonna decide what's going on. And right now, uh, you can see there's no change, so nothing is really happening. It's only it's just telling me how much is coming in from solar. Oops. Yeah. Now, as this uh, settles up, then we'll see the time thing come on to where we'll start. Uh, we'll actually have power for the fan, and we'll also be able to uh, charge the system up. So I'm going to shut the fan off for a second here. That just makes it a lot easier to deal with. So now. You can see what's happening. Uh, you're now heading up towards 180 watts coming in from the solar, and in about three hours, we'll have a full, fully charged system. But let's put the fan back on, and there we go, fan's back on. Now, what I want to show you is we're going to still have this power coming in, but now we're at 
uh, well, right now we're showing infinite, you know, 99.9 .9 hours or whatever runtime because I've got more power coming in from the solar than I have going out to run the fan. And that's where something like this is really cool because if you have a couple of solar panels uh, throughout the day, you could run that fan and you still haven't run this thing down at all. You know, you've actually, actually we're charging this up actually is what's happening. It's at 98%. It'll actually charge up to 100% while that fan is running because we have more than enough power coming from the solar to say charge this and run the fan so that's pretty cool now i'm going to shut it off again okay. and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug something in that's 300 watts that's more than these the solar package can handle but it, again it'll calculate and give me the time of how long this whole system will last so okay we're ready this is the uh, next test. This is 300 watts. Now, this is where things are going to get a little crazy. Yeah, so you got a big, strong 300 watts of LED light running, and you're, there you are, 300 watts down to 3.5. And of course, uh, the solar package can't keep up, so there is no charge hours or whatever showing up over here. Again, with the iPhone, uh, with the app on your phone, you'd be able to monitor or see all all of what's going on, but. If we take the solar off, that should drop down to about two and a half, I think about two and a half hours. So let's let's take the solar off and see if she'll recalculate. Well, she, there you go. Less than two hours now with the same amount of draw power. But it's really cool. With the solar panels, you can actually see, you know, how much power is going to carry you for how long. And I just think that is so, such a, a cool item. But the phosphate, uh, the lithium iron phosphate battery that's in here, I think is a pretty awesome thing. That's, of course, you're gonna have to pay for that. Those are those don't come cheap. Ask anybody that owns a Tesla. <laughs> or ask anybody that owns anything with the with a solar charge system and power walls and all that. That gets up to, that, that is talking some darn money. But yeah. Now with the solar back on, we're now at 3.5 hours, we, we came back up. Now this also comes with this charger here. I'm going to caution you. This charger here, is, you can plug into like a car, truck sort of thing, but make sure your cigarette lighter plug can handle it because this is going to get kind of hot. I really, this was the only thing about this whole system that I was not impressed with is this whole idea. I would not do this, tell you the truth. I just, I don't like cigarette plugs in the first place. They're not a great way to make a connection for anything, but it does come with the XT60 type connector so that it can go in the same as where the solar power would plug into. So you can't run both, of course, at the same time or anything, but I would not use this uh, unless you know for a fact you've got a good heavy industrial type uh, or a good heavy uh, cigarette lighter type plug in your car or truck or wherever your application is at at the time because this is just I found it got pretty warm I wasn't really too impressed with that but it does come with this package right here with this cable here and it also comes with the AC package where you can just plug straight this will just plug right into a household current and charge it up also voltage wise I didn't talk about that but uh, solar wise let's get this back on here uh, solar wise we can run 12 or 24 volts so if my system was a 24 volt solar system that would be fine it would still you know be bringing the power in here and it would still show and everything would work it just works so really 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 like this situation here this is really good battery uh you know emergency power system for the home if our power goes off like uh you know think like that whatever happened in texas yeah there you go. Now, now you'll see we have time and, and what, it'll tell us how long it's going to take. Right now it's showing uh, seven hours to recharge, but that's going to depend on how much power I've got coming in from my solar. And so this will probably uh, come down and recalculate, I'm sure. But off the solar, uh, it was uh, at least four hours from what I was seeing roughly to charge it back up. But Generally with solar, when you plug it in, you're just gonna, you know, you're just gonna you're just gonna leave it and walk away anyways. There, it's come down to six. This will start the hours on this will start coming down as it figures out that it's got solar power uh, steady, you know, coming in. But what a cool device. In fact, I should leave it out here, let just keep keep going. It's really hot out here. It's about 95 degrees in the barn here right now because it's a really hot, sunny day in Texas. And there is a cooling fan on this side that'll help cool this unit down if it starts to get a little warm. 
Well, we're back in the shop. It's a little bit uh, warmer, I think, in here than it was in the barn. <laughs> well, the fan was running out there off of this, but it comes with a really nice, uh, simple set of instructions. You can't go wrong with this. And it comes with the uh, basically like right there. Let's see if I can't get that up there and focus a little bit. You can see it comes with the basic cables and things you're gonna need to hook up solar panel or plug into the house or cigarette lighter. And uh, it's easy to use. It's, it's real simple. It's, it's kind of a no-brainer with the buttons and things on it. So the, the manual is pretty simple too. There's not a lot of pages there, so you're not gonna spend a lot of time staring at that thing. But the biggest difference to me is this is not lithium ion, which is the ones that sometimes uh, <clears throat> catch fire, overcharge, and burn a house down or whatever. But this is a, you know, this is the lithium uh, iron phosphate, which is, uh, in my opinion, a lot safer, a lot better storage. And it can handle recharging and uh, discharge a lot better than other systems. So, yeah, she's a premium, you know, but at the other end, look at the safety and look at the amount of power you've got in this little guy here. And that's quite a bit, you know, that's a pretty decent product. So from, I want to thank you, Green, for sending this over to us. Again, you know, there'll be links in the description below. I invite you to go take a look at that for yourself and take a look at that price and consider that with the uh, coupon that we're going to be including in there with the code, I think it's $150 off the price. So it's, it's pretty good savings. If you decide you need something for emergency power backup and you don't want the big noisy generator with gas or something dealt, you know, wow, you know. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I'm out of here. Whew, this has been a hot day today around here, but uh, man, we're done. There, there you go, U-Green, the 600 water, over and out.